Welcome back guys. We're starting off this episode with a couple of really, really good tips. One is uh, a piece of information about the mechanics of the game, uh, which I figured out myself, uh, an original Sky idea. And then the other one is just an awesome tip about, um, about trucking routes. Oh, it applies to any routes, really. Uh, and, and it's gone by, by a guy called um, CBM, who wrote to me. And it's brilliant. You're going to love it. Okay, first one, let's talk mechanics. Okay, do you remember in the last episode, I was saying, um, we've got this oil well here, right? And we've got this refinery over here. And this refinery is not picking up the potential demand for its products, right? And I'm like, well, I've got all the lines set up. Why am I not picking up that demand? Okay, because like this, oil, this uh, fuel goes back here and it gets shipped out to Shepshed and to Peacehaven and down to uh, get shipped by ship down here and then trucked out to Wellington and Biggleswade and Eastbourne. Why am I not getting that potential shown? Because it should be about like 300 because each one of these is around about 50 ish. This one's a bit more. Um, ship, ship. Well, that one's a bit more as well. I suppose they've maybe grown a little bit. But I think these are, these are yeah, 50-ish, 50-ish. So, um, one, two, three, uh, four, five. So, yeah, it should be between 250 and 300 potential, right? Why are we only seeing 51? Well, I figured it out. <clears throat> the game identifies the potential when a vehicle on a route arrives at one of the trucking destinations. Now, some of you, I'm sure, will already know this, but if you don't know this, this is like like a light bulb goes off. It's like, oh my god. So, let me let me prove this to you. Okay, so we've got, we've got three routes over here. Now, the reason that we're showing this 51 over here is because this, this vehicle on the Wellington line only has a very short distance to go. So, that one's connecting to this every so often, right? And, and that's giving us our 51 over here. If I put, but the other two lines are really long, right? Really long. Like, like the, there's one truck going up there. There's one truck like up there, right? And it's going to be a freaking age before they come back and contact these depots, right? And after a while, the game just kind of goes, eh, there's nothing happening here. Discount that potential. So if I put, let's see, buy a horse wagon uh, and put that on the Biggleswade line. And we'll buy another road vehicle. Uh, buy. And we'll put that on the... Which one was it? It was the Eastbourne line, wasn't it? Yes, the Eastbourne line. Right. Now watch this. I crank this up. Uh, turn this. Now, suddenly... Where is it? Hang on. I've lost it. <laughs> I've lost it. That's the that's the oil well. Uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Why did I close that down? Here we go. Right, so 51, the potential at the oil refinery. Go back over here. When these two wagons hit these truck stations, so here come the wagons. Look, still 51. And then he pulls into here. He pulls into there. The game registers it. And pretty soon, <laughs> he hopes... That, yes, and boom, suddenly we jump up to 160. Well, 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 how about that? Right, which means that down here, uh, where are we going to? We're going to Shepshed and Peacehaven. If I get a couple of road vehicles out here uh, and put you on Shepshed and buy another one and put that onto, which was it? Shepshed and Peacehaven, wasn't it? Right. I put those on there, release those. So we're at 159 at the moment. So I said somewhere between 250 and 300. So that one's there now. That one's there. When are you going to figure it out? Anytime now. Come on, come on, go up, damn you. <laughs> go up. Is it going to go up? Yes, boom, suddenly 228. So, the only one that hasn't... So, let's see. Uh, we've got Wellington, Eastbourne, because... Um, uh, you know what? Maybe I don't have, like, complete full coverage in all of them. But still, I, I said, you know, 250. We're getting, like, 230 potential. Now, the thing is, that makes a huge difference. Because 
this, right, the production here was um, was going down because it it only had a small potential. Uh, but now the production here and the production here, this one will be going up. This will be ticking up. Yeah, eighty eight. The production ticks up quite, kind of quite slowly at first. Nineteen ninety two. So the production here goes up, and then have you run out of oil? Yeah, you've run out of oil. Which takes us to our next tip. So now that we've figured out how to, but look, see the potential's gone down again. Now why's the potential gone down? Because no trucks are visiting these truck stops. So we've got to have like a constant flow of, um, of trucks hitting these trucks, truck stops to keep the potential up. So that's the first thing. Fre like frequency is king in this game. There's no question about it. Okay. The next thing is a tip about how to set up lines. Now, over here, do you remember in the last uh, in the last ep episode I said we're going to have to like put maybe two lines on here, right? Because I was thinking, well, you know, we're going to need more capacity, and there's only so many trucks that can go through like one one of these stops. Well, CBM came up with this idea, okay, and I think this is freaking awesome. So that's that terminal or, or that station, truck station. That's that truck station. What we're going to do is take this line and instead of putting on another line, because the game doesn't, like if you've got two lines going to the same place, it doesn't deal with them well. It'll always favour one over the other and it, it, it doesn't work well. So what we're going to do is add in the two stops again. Okay, so this goes Ashton under line halt. Ashby Dulles Central, then it's going to go back to there, back to there. Okay. Now you may think, well, what the hell difference is that going to make? Wow. Well, what we're going to do, go to the terminals and we're going to move this one onto, come on, move this to terminal one. So they're now using the two terminals at a truck station. So they're using both of them. And you're probably thinking, as I thought, yeah, but it's just going to put it all onto one, right? Because that would be the sensible thing. Um, and this one, okay, this one's already split them, so that's fine. Okay, we've got a ship coming in. Let's see what happens to this, these two, because these are the two platforms. Let's see what happens when this ship pulls in. So what are you arriving with? You're arriving with 60 fuel. What's it going to do with it? Is it going to stick it all onto here? No, it balances it out between the two platforms. How freaking awesome is that? Now, okay, it's kind of situational, but kind of understanding these mechanics and these options, like, really allows you to do some, some kind of cool balancing. Now, here is a sky tip. So, I say, okay, right, I, I, need, to, I need to bang another load of trucks onto here, because um, 10 trucks isn't enough to deal with this. I've already got, like, over 100 oil backing up here, right? So, I'll go down here, buy road vehicles. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to stick another 20 trucks on there. Excellent. This will cope with loads of oil. So uh, this goes on to oil and fuel. Hey, boom, off we go. The problem is that all of these trucks, right, are going to go to the first stop first. Let's turn all of these messages off. Um, and that's going to create a logjam because they don't kind of automatically split themselves between like which terminal they go to first. So look, this one comes along. Okay, that one's going to go to that one. That, that must have been from before. Yeah, they're all going to, the, all the new ones are going to this side. Oh, no, they're not. They're not all going to split evenly, I promise you. Oh, here we go. Now we get in the logjam. They're all going to this terminal. Okay. Well, that's no good. Well, the thing to do is to go to each alternate one and just reverse them twice. Okay. Because it'll take them... When you, when you do reverse, it'll go to the next stop and the next stop. So we'll go reverse, reverse. Okay. So that was that one. And then this one, reverse, reverse. And then this one, reverse, reverse. Boom, boom, and this one, boom, boom, and this one, boom, boom. 
Is that the last one? I think that's the last one. Boom, boom. Okay. Now what's going to happen, once we get through this um, this in initial log jam, is that every other one is going to go to the opposite station. So see, this one's going to go in here. That one's going to go around there. This one's going to come in here. That one's going to go around there. That one's going to go in here. <laughs> it's poetry in motion, isn't it? And once this clears up and spaces out a little bit, it's awesome. And look at the fuel going down. We are shipping loads and loads of fuel. Right, the next trucks come in, deliver the load. See, that one, um, actually, yeah, that one's already in place. Let's flip that one around. Reverse, reverse, boom. And that one will go around there. That one will go around there. Cool. Now, the, the, the trucks are going very, very slow up the hill. That's why they're kind of bunching up. Because they, they go up here and bunch up. And then when they get to the top, they speed up and they start to space out again. And, of course, they're doing the same thing. Like, once you've got them split like that so that they're going to alternate stations, they do the same thing at this end as well. Now, at this end, because we're, we're not producing enough to, um, to kind of stock up here, it's all going up, but but it does, oh, there you go, it's splitting. When you get over, I think when you get over four, no, no, it's just splitting it. Which is just awesome. So, that is an absolutely peachy solution to a little problem. Okay, so, rewind to the end of the last episode, right? This is where we were when we left. So I haven't set up that uh, that line down here or anything. And I just wanted to show you how I'm going to manage this process. Because it's, um, yeah, it's kind of complex. And I'll just I'll just give a shout out for Life is Feudal. Guys, if you haven't checked out the last, like, the last two or three episodes of Life is Feudal, go and check it out. Because if you think this is complicated, the logistics management in that game, oh my god, it's awesome. It's more complex than this. Uh, but, well, actually, probably is about on the same level as this. If um, if you like the the logistics of, of Transport Manager, go and check out my last couple of episodes of uh, of Life is Feudal. And for people who are following the Life is Feudal series, um, it's going to be on a little bit of a break now because there's just been an update to Life is Feudal, uh, which has broken a load of mods. But it's awesome. They've added in a whole load of statistics and Viking Raiders. Oh, it's awesome. God, I'm on cloud nine with the games at the moment. Right, so um, how are we going to do this? Well, the way I've got this set up. Okay, this is the Wellington Road Depot. This supplies the trucks to the Wellington Exchange uh, truck station, which supplies the Wellington fuel line. This depot also supplies the trucks to the Wellington branch, which supplies the Biggles, Wade and Eastbourne fuel lines. And I've actually moved those both onto the same truck station. They were on separate truck stations before. And then the same with, um, this is the, the Shep Shed, which feeds the, um, the stations at the Shep Shed uh, Exchange. Um, ex well, Shep Shed Exchange and Shep Shed Central, which feed the, the, the Peace Haven line and the Shep Shed line. God. And then at the Ashton and the Line Depot, which feeds this truck station, which feeds the Sedberg line and this. And this is the West Ham, which feeds Tewkesbury and West Ham. Okay, so what I'm going to do... And this is why I'm going to do this offline, because you'll see that this is going to get a bit tedious. Um, I'm going to buy one of those, put it on the Wellington line. This is just to get all of the lines triggered. So this is the, the, the first tip that I showed you. So we're going to put one on the Wellington line, and then I need to also buy one for the Eastbourne line. Put you on Eastbourne, and buy one for the Biggleswade line. Right, so that's those three lines. So then I need to do the same for all of the rest of the lines. I, shall I, I, I suppose, go on, we'll do it once. We'll do it once. I'm not do, I'm, I'm, the rest I'm doing offline because it will just get like too tedious. So this has to go on to Peace Haven. Uh, well, no, I didn't want to buy that. Sell that. That's a wagon. That's a stagecoach. Uh, buy one of those. That goes on to Shep Shed. Did it do? Uh, then we want one for Sedberg. So you are going on to the Sedberg line. Boom. And then what do we need here? We need one for Ashby. One for Ashby. And one for Ashton. That goes on to Ashton. Cool. And then finally, 
My god, thank god. <laughs> uh, we want one for Chicksbury. You're going to go on the Chicksbury line and one for the West Ham line. You are going to go on the West West Ham. It's down here, West Ham line. Okay, so that triggers um, all of our lines. So now I can I can kick this off and let those guys go and get that done. What I now need to do, uh, because what I wanted to do was was get all of those triggered to get the production up, um, at, like across the board at the oil wells and the oil refineries. Now I can go down here and I'm going to set this up. So what I'm going to be doing, and the reason I've got it laid out like this, I'm going to be watching when fuel arrives at these various locations. And then, depending on how much fuel is there. So, for example, Shepshed. Shepshed's got 17 uh, fuel waiting. Okay, we've got some cash rolling in. Good. Okay, let's, um, let's get Shepshed rolling. So, um, what I want to do is I want to go over here, buy road vehicles. So, to move 17 oil, these move four each, so I'm going to need four wagons. So let's buy one, two, three, four wagons for that line. Set them on line, ship shed. Boom. Okay, that's going to clear that. Okay, excellent, wonderful. And then it's just going to be a case of rinse and repeat with these until the lines are kind of populated. Okay, I think this is a good place to bring you back in and bring you up to speed on what's going on. Uh, I'm going to pause it for a minute because... Um, Things will get out of control if I don't while I'm, while I'm explaining this stuff to you. Uh, we're at the point now where we're going to put in our first trains. You excited? <laughs> I'm kind of excited. We're in uh, 1862, which means we've just got our new train, the Borsig, which, um, which will actually allow us to haul some oil. The, um, the trains that we had before that were kind of like too pathetic to, uh, to haul oil. Right, so um, what's going on? Okay. Um, this line here, I've, I've crammed it with as many vehicles as I can get on. I think it's pretty much at max capacity. I might be able to squeeze one or two more. Um, and uh, the posh horses have got very upset with the whole flip-flip business. Yes, make your bloody mind up which direction you want us to go in, bloody idiot. <laughs> the return of the posh horses, hooray! And there was much rejoicing. Right, um, the big thing, probably is um, this fuel liner. First of all, let me explain how I've got this set up because this is kind of um, simplified everything. This is the A side, right? So this is the shipyard. This is um, the, 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 the harbour over here. This is the other harbour, this one. That's this one, right? And then these are the, uh, the truck routes out that are supplied by this depot. So this is all the A side. So we're supplying Wellington and Biggleswade and Eastbourne, Shepshed and Peacehaven, all from A, right? And then this is B, so if we come back down here, this, um, this is this shipyard here, right? And then this is this harbour, and then these are the lines that are being supplied by B, so Chicksbury and West Ham and um, Sedberg, which is that one up there, and Ashby and Ashton, which are down here. In the West Ham and Chicksbury are right down this end. Okay, so it's kind of kind of much simpler to kind of see what's going on now. Right, uh, the big change is to uh, oil and fuel line A because in the same way that I doubled this one up, I've doubled this one up because we were getting too much fuel here. Um, I can't double up uh, B because we don't have any spare terminals. <clears throat> we're already using all three of the terminals there. So I can't double that one up. So in actual fact, I'm, I've been trying to make sure that I've always got a ship queued up. So let's see, that's a, that's a B. What's that? That's a B. That's queued up. What's behind it? That's a B1. And then those are all going in this direction. And then there's the next B. I think we'll put one more ship in to make sure, because we're up to almost 400 oil here. I'm, I'm desperately trying to keep it below 400. So let's see, uh, I want to buy a Zoroaster, buy set line uh, on fuel B. Right, that's that. Oh man, so, um, but I had some problems when I did this. Um, the first problem was that this docks, when I tried to expand it to two terminals, which it, which it now is, 
There's a t there's a tiny little section of road. This little little tiny section of road there. And when I tried to upgrade this, it wouldn't. So it cannot. Well, I don't know. Cons construction can't be done for whatever reason. Um, because of this, so I had to take these roads out, then upgrade it, then put the roads back in. But of course, that means we lost the connections, right? So now it's all up and running again. Now it's all fine, right? But it just had a bit of a, a bit of a hiccup. Now let's look at the cash situation. Um, we've we have made six point two seven million. We made two and a half million last year. I haven't repaid any of the loan off because we, we're going to spend it all now. And probably a lot more. So, uh, so yeah. So we still got our 10 million loan, but we're up to six and a half million, which is pretty cool, and making very good money. Um, which should go up and up because we're, we're not at full capacity with all, with this system yet. Like not even close. Right. So, um, so that was the first problem, and I did that. But then I had this weird problem with the lines. Um, I, I put the lines in like this. Yeah, alternating, but. This harbour, for some reason, instead of saying Ashton Underline North, Ashton Underline North, it was saying Ashton Underline North, Ashton Underline North and Lower Wellington. So, it, the, in theory, the ships were going back to here. It was very weird. And I had to like delete the whole line and put it back in again, and then it all worked. So, I, I don't know what the hell was going on there. But that's all working kind of peachy now. Uh, and we're keeping up with the oil very, very nicely. Um... And over here, I've had to do a little bit of flip flipping with the ships so that they use uh, both docks. And you can see if I speed it, look, we've got an A coming into this terminal and we've got an A coming into that terminal. And we've just got one ship waiting. Right, so, so that's that. Um, I need to put some vehicles onto Ashby. This is what I've been doing. So I've just been watching these. And I've been trying to keep them down below about 30. So Ashby's a little bit high. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That'll bring it down to 30. Set line all. Ashby. Boom. And it's been... I've, I've absolutely loved it. I love having all of this information laid out really nicely. I can follow what's going on. Like, Wellington's over 30. Yeah, well, let's put another wagon on to Wellington. Set line all. Wellington. Boom, done. Uh, these are fine. Peace Haven. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with Peace Haven because that's the line that we're going to put trains in. So we're going to be replacing uh, Shepshed and Peace Haven. Um... Ashby. Now, I love the fact that you can zoom in and see what's going on. So you don't have to actually go over there. You can just see exactly what's going on. So, yeah, we need some more. Uh, we need some more trucks. So let's bang in horse wagon. One, two, three, four. Let's bang some more on. Set line all. Ashby. Right. How are we doing? We're at six point six. I probably want uh, a little bit more cash. So let's crank this up. Uh, how are we doing over here? Next ships come in. We're just keeping that below the 400 mark. Now, um, I've been keeping an eye on oil production. I've had these down here most of the time. Um, that one and this one. So that I can make sure that production is good. And as you can see... Production is good at both of these. We're churning out the oil. We're churning out the fuel. Everything's running very, very nicely. Um, so now I think it's time to do trains. And what we're going to do is we because like look at all the wagons on here. And this is nowhere near at capacity. Look, I mean this needs to be like running like full on. Um, and there's. There's a huge stretch there with hardly any vehicles on. And there's hardly any vehicles at this top end section going up to uh, Peacehaven. So we're going to need huge amounts of vehicles. I've, um, I've, By the way, I've gone through the list and put all the auto replace on. So that they're, they're going to auto replace when the vehicles get too old. Because we're coming up to it now. We started in 1850. So they last 15 years. So in the next... Well, we're coming up on 1863, so in the next two years, we're going to need to start replacing. So that's all set up. Um, 
but uh, in fact, I'll just show you this. Like you can see how many vehicle. I mean, that's the oil and fuel A, right? But you can see like Ashby is starting to get a bunch of vehicles, and Peace Haven, and she look at Shepshed, loads of vehicles, and these are going to need a lot, lot more. So I think now is the time to do it. Okay, so pause. We're going to do our first train. Alrighty, I think we've got ourselves a line. Right, let's get a couple of lines. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna change the colors so that we can see them a little bit better. So let's have something like pretty obvious. Let's have red and dark blue. Does that sound sensible? Yeah. Okay, so red, let's do red first. This is gonna be the Shepshed line, which is gonna go from lower Shepshed to whatever the hell this is. Shepshed East. And that, oh yeah, works perfectly. And then the Peace Haven trains are gonna go from here all the way straight to Peace Haven. Go in there, come out there. Do they go around the outside platforms? Yes, they do. Peachy, so they come up here, fly through there, fly back down all the way down here, and do they use a separate train uh, platform? Yes, they do. Everything looks 
bang on. All right, now, this is kind of the tricky bit because what I was gonna do here, um, I, I said I wanna like decorate this and make this kind of a focal point. Well, I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we also did that with the, like, not just, not just this bit, but also like the train, like the train depots. So what I'm gonna do here, um, it just depends where I, I'm hopefully, hopefully we can do it from here. What I'm gonna do is put in a bit of track from here, maximum curvature, like that. And then bring it down here. Now I haven't got any of the other depots enabled at the moment, but, and I won't do it right now, but what I wanna do is a little freight yard. So have several lines coming off and several depots. And instead of using this little tiny pathetic depot, where is it? It's here. Instead of using this little pathetic depot, um, put in like some of the big ones. I think that would look really cool. We'll do that when I've got a bit more money. So you are gonna go in there for now. So our trains will be going on to the line like that. Sweet. I can do a bit of playing around with the terrain and all the rest of it. Sticking some trees and all that kind of stuff. Uh, by the way, like we have got very, very little vegetation on this map. And I don't know whether it's the Snowy Mountains mod that stops the vegetate the extra vegetation mod from working, but we have got like like there's virtually no trees on this map. So I'm gonna have to do a huge amount of work putting blooming trees in to decorate them out. That is gonna be done offline. That's gonna be blooming hours and hours and hours of work. If I if I really get into this and it's kind of looking that way, that's gonna be a lot of work. Right. Let's get this organized. So we've got the lines, the lines are all set up. Right. So, this, uh, this is the Shepshed line, isn't it? So this is gonna be TF, uh, Shepshed, well, it's gonna be fuel for now. Boom. And this one is gonna be the TF Peacehaven fuel. Boom. Okay. So, we want to put at least one train on each. Now I'm going to tell them, wait for a full load. And you, wait for a full load. Now that potentially could cause me problems. Because let's say I've got um, a Peacehaven train in here waiting for a full load. And then there's another one backed up behind it. And then behind that there's a Shepshed train. And the Shepshed train could come through and fill up but it's been blocked by the Peacehaven trains. So uh, I may have to like qu quad track a section of this, but I think initially it's not gonna be a problem. And if it is, I'll just take these, wait for a full loads off. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. So ha, what, are, what trains are we gonna put on here? Um, well, we're gonna be using Borsigs because it's, it's all we've got. Um, th these things, the D1 slash three are so pathetic. 68 horsepower, and this is 120, this is like twice the power. So it's gonna be one of those with uh, four tank cars. Now these carry five, now a wagon carries four. Um, so this is the equivalent of five wagons. One, two, three, four. Oh, not enough money. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh man, really? I've only got two wagons. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to let it run. Quick, give me some more, yeah, arrive. Give me some more cash. Oh, we've just gone through the month end as well. Man, I didn't think I was spending that month. 270, oh, yeah, okay. Half, oh, there we go, there's a mill, boom. See how the money's flying in? Awesome. So now I can afford to put on buy, buy. So uh, how much How much did that cost me? Uh, buy trains, so that's um, it's a Borsig which is two, uh, and then three, six, so it's about 800,000. So I can afford to put a train on each. Okay, so if I clone that, yes. 
So you, my little friend, are gonna go on the shipshed line, and you are gonna go on the peace haven line. Alrighty. Who mad? Right, now that I've got that set up so that we can actually run it. Oh, I do have to sort this out. Um, because we do need this line connected. Oh dear. Oh, go away. Give me give me the right road. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm thinking that's gonna have to come back another section. Yeah, because I'm I'm gonna have to put a a bridge in. Which I didn't really want to do, but it's what it is. Uh, and I can't afford to do it anyway. Oh, man. Have I got any vehicles down here? No, I haven't. Which doesn't help me. Um, how much is it going to cost me to do this? So, lift it up. Oh, okay. Jeez, 160,000 to put that in. And I don't even really need it, because as soon as I, it's only to get these vehicles back and sold at the depot. Go on. Run on a little bit. Give it quick. Oh, no. Come on. Give me some more cash. Down 130. Come on. Oh, back to break even. 400,000. That'll do. Right, so let's put you in. Boom. I'm not going to faff around with it. And... Now we can scrap these lines because we're up and running here. So, how much fuel have I got? I'm only going to lose 28 fuel. So now's a good time to do it. So, let's bring up the line manager. We want to say, peace, save, and fuel. I say, I'm going to get the money back for all these trucks, which is kind of nice. Go to the depot and be sold and get rid of the line. And then, what's the other one? The other one's Shep Shed, isn't it? Yeah. Shep Shed with all these vehicles. Uh, so, go to the depot and be sold, and delete the line. Bye-bye. Right, having got rid of those, I can then get rid of that, and get rid of that. Don't need those. Um, I guess I'll... Yeah, will I leave that depot there? I guess I'll leave that depot there for now. That's fine. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now, subsequently, I'll have to put some vehicles in for this. Um... Do I put the depot in? And if so, where do I put it? It's a very good question. I am kind of wondering if I put another depot in here just so that buildings don't fill in here and then it costs me a fortune to take them out later. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I've got the money. So, like, what the hell? It's only going to cost me, like, 20 grand or so. So, 20, 30 grand. So, maybe we put this in there. 17 grand... That's nothing. Take it. Boom. Alrighty. Do I do... Do I do a distribution? Let's see. How much coverage have we... We're covering a fair amount of it. I'll put, I'll put that in later. Uh, and what about up here? How much are we covering up here? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. Okay. So we are all set... Ready to rock and roll. So what I need to do now, guys, is um, is reset up my dashboard so that we can kick this off. Because I've still got to monitor all of the others and put the put vehicles on when they need them. But and, I, and we'll we'll watch the trains as well. Um, now I would love to have a bit of a ride on the trains, but that's going to be kind of difficult at the moment until I get everything stable. So you'll have to bear with me. Um, let me get it set up and we'll go. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. So, let's go. Let's crank this up. Now, I, I can see I need some more vehicles down at Ashton. So, let's buy some road vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, not enough money. So, I think you can put three on there. Uh, not Ashby, Ashton. That needs to be a bit higher. Um, so, what did I say? Set line, Ashton. Boom, there you go. Oh, we need to get some more on there ASAP. Right, how are our trains doing? Now, look at this. Our two little Borsigs have come down to the station and are waiting patiently to get some fuel. Now, when are they going to get some fuel? That's the question. You've just pulled in. Did you drop off any fuel? Doesn't look like it. Nope, not seeing any fuel for them yet. 
So where's the first one that's coming in? You're coming in. Oh, you're coming in with 30 fuel. Ooh, that might be enough. Because these only carry 20 each. So maybe the Shep Shed train will get enough. Or maybe the Peace Open train. I don't know. I don't know which one's going to get the preference. Look, we're all, oh, I was going to say we're almost up for, to a million. So how, how are we doing, um, like, cash-wise? So we made two and a half, we made 2.1, but we spent almost a million last year. So, yeah, making close to three million last year. We've just spent an absolute fortune. Um, we've just spent, like, nine million on setting this lineup. Oh, man, this better work. Right, so this is arriving with 30 fuel. Where's that 30 fuel going to go? Oh, it's got... Oh! It's gone over here. And you've got... You've only got four. You should be waiting for a full load. Has it, like, run out of... I guess it's run out of time. Okay, well... Go on. We'll let it run. Where's the other one? The other one's already gone. Where's the other one? The other one's already up there. You haven't. You got no fuel at all. I need to extend the amount of time that they're going to wait, because I do want them to wait for, uh, for for actually a full load. So now, hang on. Let's uh, let's go up here. Now, what speed are they doing up here? Now, their top speed is 28 miles an hour. Uh, the power rating is mediocre. They don't have enough. They don't have enough power for like. High, like high end slopes, but so at the top of the slope, oh, you're doing 23 miles an hour. What are you doing there? You're doing 17, so this must be about the top of the slope here. You're gonna speed up now, starting to speed up 19. Yes, mind you, he's not carrying a full load of fuel. I don't know whether that, I don't know what you know, what? I don't know whether carrying a, um, a, a full load actually affects the weight. That's a good point doesn't matter it's made it up there so the peace haven train has disappeared up here into the distance the ship shed train comes up drops off its oil and heads back or heads up it drops off its fuel I should say now the ship shed train has already got fuel waiting now I'm not going to put any more trains on there until look at this we've already got two and a half million um, I'm not going to put any more trains on there until we've got like more than 40. When we've got more than 40, I'll add a train. Alrighty, all of these vehicles are coming back and being sold, which is of course giving us some cash, which is nice. Right, how are we doing? Um, Ashton could do with some more wagons. One, two, three, four. Set line, Ashton. And in fact, uh, let's do one, two, three, four. Set line Ashton. Because it's up to like 40. Um, Chicksbury could do with some more. So let's get horse wagon. One, two, three, four, five. And set line Chicksbury. Boom. And uh, so it doesn't need any. Now, the, the B2 line. Let's head over here. The B2 line could do with at least one ship, and now it could actually do with two. So let's do buy ships. I managed to close that Bloomin' Harbour down. Did I? No, I didn't. What the hell was, was there something there? I don't know. Um, Zoroaster. Buy two Zoroasters and put them onto, what did I say? Uh, B2. Set line all B2. Go. Now I close that down, which I didn't want to do. Idiot. Right, how are we doing over here? This is fine. This is fine. Shep Shed's got 30. Production, 250, 250. That's all working nicely. This is going okay. We're up at 400 over here. But we've just got a ship arriving. So that gets us down under 400 again, which is nice. Have we got ships waiting? Yeah, we've got a B-ship waiting. Cool. Let's go back to the trains. 
So let's see. What have we got waiting? We have got 9 and 30. I'm not going to put more trains on until we get more than that. Now, I need the two lines, don't I? I need the Peacehaven line and I need the Shipshed line because I need to go to vehicles and say, ah, here we go, waiting time. Wait, let's increase the waiting time to like five minutes. And... I don't know about Peacehaven. Uh, yeah, I, well, we'll go, we'll try five minutes and see how that works. So, you're sitting there and waiting patiently. Peacehaven train. How much fuel you got on board? You got nine on board. We need the Shepshed train to come back down. Here he comes. Tootling down. Should you have a look at him coming under the bridge? Now, once I've got everything, like, nice and smooth and whatever, we can start to, like, ride on the trains and, like, enjoy looking at them a bit more. But for now... Oh, and he's straight off with another 20 fuel. But for now, I do kind of want to focus on making everything sweet. Look at this, we're up to 5 million again. Uh, oh, you know what? Pause. It's December the 25th. Now would be a good time to repay the loan, because I'm not going to spend that money at the moment. So, let's bring that up, and we'll repay as much as we can. If I can repay a bit more, I will. Yes, so we've repaid half the loan. We've got trains running. Everything's going sweetly. That's okay. This is fine, that's fine. This is good, this is good. Shepshed's got 32. Ooh, if another ship comes in, we're going to need another train. Yeah, there's 50 oil coming in. And now, come on. Come on, dump that fuel on here. Cha-ching. And now we've got 53 oil to get, uh, 53 fuel to get moved. So, I think, by trains, a Borsig... And one, two, three, four. Oh, not enough money. Try that again. Four. Yes. And set you online. Shipshed. And here comes that little Borsig. They are cute, the Borsigs. I do like them. And he goes round the little curve. Onto the line. Signals are up. Fly through. Get onto the platform. If I can keep the camera steady. Pick up your fuel. And off you go straight away. Awesome. And we've got a full load waiting for the other train when he arrives. Is he heading back down yet? No, I guess he's heading up there. Alrighty. Guys, we are going to leave it there for this episode. This is fine. That's fine. This is good, this is good, this is good. Everything is running nicely. Production continues to go up. We're up to almost 300 on both of these. How's our, um, how's our posh horses over here? Where are we? This one. I just want to make sure that this is all running smoothly. Yeah. Yeah, this is at, like, max capacity. We're actually having to wait to pull out. That's how packed this is. We, we've got ships going all over the place, posh horses going all over the place, and now we've got the trains running. This is freaking beautiful, and we're making tons of cash. Right, let's have a cash roundup. We made, um, two more, we made three million last year. This year, we're already up to two and a half, and it's only August. So I think we're going to do very nicely. Let's have a quick look at the lines. The lines. Uh, Field B is making 2.6 million. That line is awesome. Uh, Field A is making a million. That's coming back up. That's great. Uh, Peace Haven Fuel. That's our train line. 
160k, nice. Now, how is the other one doing? Now, here's Shep Shed. Oh, it's just jumped. Shep Shed Fuel, it's making a profit, 100,000. And that is just going to keep going up, I think, as we get more trains on there, as we get more fuel. Because we, um, like I said, we had this hiccup with this, and we've got to recover from it. So we're not getting full loads of fuel in at the moment. Once this recovers and we start getting the full loads of fuel, oh, here we go. Once we start dumping full loads of fuel onto here again, we're going to be flying. Now, oh, I'm going to do one last thing before we end the episode, and that is this ship's going to come in and pick up a load of fuel, but we have a bit of a gap to the next one, so I'm going to get another ship on here by uh, put you on line oil and fuel A. Get rid of you. Now, this is going to be headed towards Ashton Line. We don't want that. We want you going into Lower Wellington. Now, which one are you going to go into? Because I want you going into that dock. If you're waiting, and you are waiting, then I'll do flip, flip. And now you should move and pull into that dock. And there he goes. So, wait. I have actually got this figured out. Uh, Chicksbury could do with some more road vehicles. My God, it, it, it's kind of hard to stop the episode because you're always like doing the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Those go on to Chicksbury. Keep that going. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Get rid of that. This is all fine. Ship shed fuel making two hundred thousand now. Uh, this is fine. Wellington, yeah, could probably do with one more vehicle. Who knows, I might go mad and buy two. What the hell? I'm, go I'm just going crazy now. Boom. And that we will call an episode. Pause. We'll leave it there. Guys, if you don't have loads of comments for me after this, I will be staggered. I will be amazed. Um, what do you want me to do next? Uh, I suppose I could kind of run it as it is, get like a decent bit of cash, and then maybe do a time lapse of putting in the same kind of lines to replace all of these uh, wagon lines that we've got at the moment. So uh, we'd have a, a line going up here to Biggles Wade and to Eastbourne and to all the others. You know, you, you know where they go. So should is that what we should do? Um, should we start putting in some passenger trains? Uh, what else could we do? I don't know. Come up with some ideas. So leave me lots of comments and I will catch you for the next episode. Peace out. <laughs>